Tropical Storm Andrea continues to churn things up in Florida. Our meteorologist Mike Seidel is in North Reddington Beach. Hi Mike, what's the latest? Hey Matt, this is the worst we've seen so far this morning as far as the rainfall intensity goes. But as far as wind, our peak gust out here on the coast in North Reddington, maybe 15, 16 miles an hour. We've noticed the water running out towards the water. This is all fresh water here in the foreground, and I can see it up the beach. What's going on? All the heavy rain is uh, coming off the parking lots from the hotels and condos out to the beach. The beach itself in pretty good shape. We've got a high tide a little after 11 Eastern time this morning. We're not going to see a complete overwash of the beach like we saw last June with Tropical Storm Debbie. With that said, the waves have ramped up since yesterday when we arrived around three to four footers, dangerous rip currents, and now the rain just pouring down out here. The other concern, next few hours, water spouts out over the water. Some of those may migrate towards the coast from here, certainly from here, Tampa Bay South, towards Sarasota, Bradenton, and down towards the southwest coast around Fort Myers Beach. Again, uh, a glancing blow here, and we'll get this system out of here very quickly. These hotels expected to be full for the weekend, and if you're heading in this direction, Florida goes back to its typical summer weather uh, this weekend with just that chance of an afternoon shower or thunderstorm. Matt, back to you. All right. Thanks, Mike. Continuing coverage of Tropical Storm Andrea on air and right here on weather.com. I'm Matt Sampson.